Here we are. It's time to shake and it's time to bake. So I was supposed to be training a session right now and my client no showed me and I've got a free hour and I want to help you out. So it's Friday, which means it's Friday fun day. And you're probably sitting at work or maybe at home or one of the two and you've got nothing to do either. It's Friday. Let's have a little fun today. Let's do a little bit of a mobility flow. Um, I love mobility work. I spend about an hour each day doing mobility. Um, and since my client canceled on me, we get to have a little fun uh, for today's mobility flow. You're not going to need any equipment. I know a lot of times we grab a kettlebell or something similar, but today you don't need anything. Uh, we're just going to go straight up on if you have a pad or mat, great. This is impromptu, this is unscripted, and it's Friday fun day. So here we go. Um, we'll throw on some beats and we'll get started. Now, um, it's Friday and towards the end of my week, I'm tired uh, and I like to spend time in the garage. So if you picture a race car, okay, when you race a Formula on one car, like a Ferrari, what they do is they push the gas pedal down, they race it, they go very hard and then they come into the garage, they make some tweaks, make some adjustments. So towards the end of my week, I like to do what's called a garage day, where I spend a lot of time making adjustments, checking the tires, checking the pressure, the oil, all that type of stuff, making sure everything's okay. So this is called my 90-90 sequence. I stole this from another great trainer called Dr. Andreo Spina, okay? Um, S-P-I-N-A, Dr. Spina. Uh, he's crazy smart, smarter than me, but I made this sequence uh, a little bit my own. And I want to show you guys my favorite mobility sequence. So if you're following along, let's go ahead and join. So um, all you need is the floor and you can join me along. This is going to be a full mobility sequence. And the key is we're going to start with 90-90. So let's get the music on and let's have some fun. Okay. So the key for this is being humble and realizing that if you're tight, you're tight. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make a 90-90. Okay. 90-90 means we've got 90 degrees here, right angle, 90 degrees here. Now, if you're really tight, what's going to happen is your knees are going to want to pop up. So the first step is I want you to go ahead and press your knees into the ground. Now, let me show you what this looks like from the front, okay? So from the front, we're going to be right here, right angle in the front, right angle in the back. Make sure the knees are driven into the ground, okay? So if you're on Facebook, why don't you go ahead and click join, hop on the ground, and let's have some fun. All right? Just imagine if you haven't brushed your teeth all week. Your teeth would be, ah, ah, your breath would be smell bad. If you haven't stretched or done any mobility work this week, you need to do this. So go ahead and jump, jump on the ground and join me. Okay, so here's our 90-90 sequence. We're going to start here. I'm going to go left leg forward. Now, when you're super tight, what's going to happen is you're going to have to sit side saddle. So if you're tight and messed up, you're going to want to sit here. Now this is fine if you're sitting watching a drive-in movie or chilling at the park. But for us, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to work our way in. So notice I want to square my chest with my shin. So go ahead and pull your chest in right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right hand to the back leg, right hand to the back leg, left hand to the front shin. So I've got my hands on my shins, right hand to right shin, left hand to left. And now what I want to do is I want to make myself as tall as possible. Notice how my knees want to lift in this position. Go and plug those knees into the ground and hang out here. So make yourself as tall as possible. And we're going to hang out here for at least a minute, preferably two. Okay? Now for most of you, your knees are going to lift, push them down, and make yourself as tall as possible. Okay? So this is our 90-90 little shin splint right here going to hang out here and what I want you to do is I want you to focus on breathing. When you're in this position, it's very easy to start breathing from the shoulders. So what that looks like is if you're sitting here and you're breathing from your shoulders, man, 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 we need to take care of that breathing. So what I want you to do is even though it's tough in this position, I want your stomach going in and out and you raising that belly button. Okay. So we're going to hang here. Do not breathe from the shoulders tall as possible. Now, 
If you're in this position, you start cramping out, especially right kind of in this jean pocket area. That's okay. When we do this 90-90 work, cramping is, it's, it's common. All right, so after we do our shin box, we'll sit. What we're going to do is we're going to drop down to the elbow here. Notice, keep the 90-90, okay? Don't let this knee sneak up, keep it back. What we're going to do next is we're going to do some thoracic rotation. So hand here, let's go ahead and reach for the ceiling, okay? Then I'm going to grab my rib cage, tuck, and I'm going to exhale out, and I'm going to own it. Okay, back out, up, grab the ribs, rotate and pull. What's good? It's Friday. Boo! Hashtag boo! Okay. All right, so after we finish some thoracic rotation, little spine, you can do that two ways. You can grab the ribs and rotate under, or you can even grab your head. I don't like this version, okay? I like going at my ribs and feeling the rotation. Okay, that's for the thoracic spine. What we're going to do next is we're going to pop up back, okay? We're going to grab those shins again, and what we're going to do is pin your knees. They're gonna to wanna to lift up, pin them down. Let's reach for the sky. You're going to feel this stretch right above the hip, lower lat, thoracolumbar fascia. That's a big word, big word. Oh, we got Nicki Minaj here, okay? For a lot of you, that's going to be a difficult stretch to perform because it's active, which means that we're having to contract and squeeze muscle to stretch ourselves. We're not just chilling out trying to touch our toes. Okay, so one more time, if that's a little too difficult, you can grab a band and pull yourself in, maybe a partner, so I could have someone standing here. But since I don't have anyone today, I'm going to take and I'm going to pull myself in using my shin. Now, if it's too hard to reach and your arm's out in front, let me turn to the side, okay? So if my arm's way out in front, you're gonna be really locked here. If you do lots of pull-ups, which is my favorite, you're gonna be really locked up here. So we need to stretch this out, okay? Um, so if you go to do this stretch in your arms here, well clearly we have some problems down in this area. So one thing we can do to make it a little easier is grab your shin, you're going to grab your head and do like a little side bend. So from the side, it looks like this. Shin, and instead of reach, we're going to grab the head and do a side bend. You should feel a deep stretch from about midway up the ribs all the way down to the hips. And I'm going to pull myself in using this arm. You can do repetitions. Boom, okay? If you're watching this right now, which I know we've got some people hopped in, why don't you go ahead and get on the floor and join me? Because I promise you, no matter what your goal is, what you're doing, if you're chilling at work, get your coworkers to join, it will be a blast, okay? So we just did our rotations, we did our lat stretch and reach now what we're going to do is we're going to start working a little bit of strength in some positions that are tough, okay? I've got muscles that are shortened, muscles that are lengthened, and that means it's going to be tough to work. So here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna flip to the front, and what we're going to start doing is we're gonna start working these outer hip abductors, okay? So if you watch, I'm going to first push this knee into the ground for about six seconds, okay? So I'm pushing this knee into the ground for six seconds, okay? Five. Four, three, two, one. Now that I got done pushing the knee in, without compensating with the body, okay? Keep tall, keep strong. Watch, I'm going to lift this back leg. Now, when you do that, you're gonna to wanna to lean away. So, you're going to wanna lean. Keep upright, and without moving, lift up. Back down. Notice, we gotta keep this knee and this leg pinned. One more time, don't cheat with the body. You'll know if you're cheating, okay? Go ahead and press into the ground. You can create tension, lift. That does not seem like it's that hard. Go ahead and try, it's quite hard. All right, we're gonna go with the front leg now. Let me switch the angle. So we're in front here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to practice some bows. One more time, square off your chest. Make yourself as tall as possible or round it back is false flexibility here. So if you're rounding and hunchback of Notre Dame, okay, you're not 
going to get the flexibility you need. So one more time, square it off. What's good? Friday fun day. Uh, I like to grab my foot because my left hip is my tightest spot. Make yourself as tall as possible. Big chest. Boom. Okay, pull yourself down and hang out. This is like the pigeon stretch, except it's a little bit easier to get into. So if you've ever gone to yoga and you're like, that pigeon stretch is hard. A little bit easier, okay? And I find I get a deeper stretch out of my glute and butt in this area. Hashtag butt. Okay, now I'm going to pull myself in deeper. Notice how I'm not rounding and I'm trying to keep my chest as big as possible as I go down. You might need to spread out your hand for this. Grab and pull yourself in. Every time I pull myself lower, I'm squeezing my abs. Remember, if you got questions, comment below. Okay, I'm gonna pull back up. Now that's cool and that gets a stretch out of my hip, but now I wanna strengthen, okay? It's one thing to stretch and get longer, but we wanna get stronger and strengthen. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna push this leg into the ground. So for five seconds, push, push down into the ground. This leg right here, push, push, push. It's gonna feel awkward, it's gonna feel, what the heck are we doing? Three, two, one. Now, create tension in your body, like you're about to get hit by a train, okay? We're going to lift. Back down. Notice how the body wants to squirm and run away. One more time, push into the ground. Five, four, pushing into the ground as hard as possible. Three, two, one, here's the heart of the two. Okay, press into the ground, squeeze, create tension, and we're going to lift this front leg without compensating. Boom, okay, that's gonna be challenging. So we have our lift-offs in back, okay, and we have our lift-offs in front. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna work some rotation of the hips. We suck at what's called internal rotation, which is what we're gonna do next. So we're going to internally rotate. So I'm right here, and I'm going to take my front leg, Okay, and I'm going to rotate up and in. That's internal rotation. Looks like my legs are breaking. That's because I'm dancing right now on the floor. Okay, break dancing. Back down. Notice how I don't want this leg to move at all. We're back up. Notice how much work we're getting out in the same position. What's good, guys? Friday. Okay. All right, okay, after I work some rotations, once I'm able to complete a rotation with my foot flat, now I'm going to do the hard part, which is keeping this leg still. I'm going to pull this knee up. One more time, down, pull this knee up. Now, I'm now in this new position where I've got my legs wide, I'm on my heels, my toes are up, and I'm kind of just chilling out here like I'm watching a movie. What we're going to do is we're gonna work our hip flexors, which are right here, we're gonna get them a little bit stronger. So we've got rounded back. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take, I'm going to act like I'm doing a sit up, pull myself tall, hang out here. Relax, that's a lot of work for your hip flexors, okay? One more time, if you need to, squeeze your thumbs to make a little bit of tension, make it a little bit easier, okay? Pull myself up and tall. Relax. One more time, notice how we're strengthening while we stretch. It's cool to stretch, but if you don't strengthen, it's not gonna last, okay? One more time. Squeeze the thumbs, create tension, pull yourself tall using your hip flexors. All right, okay? Yes, I'm gonna go spread eagle on you guys in the short shorts, I'm sorry, okay? So one more time from the front, pull yourself up tall. Now we're going to transition. So the left leg was in front. All I'm going to do here is if you need to, put your hands on the ground. If not, go here, and I'm going to rotate and drop that hip. Notice how I get stuck here, because my left hip sucks, okay? So I might need to put my hands on the ground and practice that internal rotation. So now I'm dropping that left hip, and that gets stuck. So I'm gonna spend some time dropping and trying to fight this knee, because it's easy to go like this, okay? Keep this leg locked and practice just internally rotating and dropping. If you're strong enough and you've got some good flexibility, go ahead and do it with the hands up and contract. That's a lot harder, okay? So I'm right here. Once I drop, okay, there, flip-flop, 
Boom, there's our other side. So we're gonna work through it on the other side, which is right leg in front. What's good, guys? If you're watching, go and hop to the ground, join me. If you just joined us, let's go ahead and start from the beginning again, Kay. We wanna hit both legs, so this is 90-90. So make a 90 degrees in right angle with your front leg. Right angle with the back. Knees wanna pop up, pinch them into the ground. Okay, the first thing we're going to get started with is the shin twist. So right hand to right shin, left hand to left, and I wanna go ahead and make myself as tall as possible. Now in this position, if you're breathing and you see your shoulders rise up, you need to practice your breathing and work on that in the gym. We wanna be breathing from our belly, and we wanna see that belly button poke in and out. Hashtag Pokemon Go. Yes, I went there. Okay, good. Not here, guys. Hunchback of Notre Dame. That movie came out a long time ago. Make yourself nice and tall. If you cramp up in this position, shake it out, hang out here, come back. Keep the knees down. Breathe. Okay, breathe. Also, I recommend Imagine Dragons. It makes this experience more enjoyable. Notice how we're stretching, we're contracting, we're strengthening. Don't just stretch, okay? You always need to strengthen, especially when you get a new range of motion. All right, okay, we're done with the shin box. Let's go ahead and drop down. Remember, we're gonna drop down to our elbows. Knees stay at the 90-90. Arm flat, go ahead and reach up, big to the sky. Pull in, grab your ribs, rotate down, enjoy. Boom, come to the top, reach up. Grab the ribs, enjoy. Notice how we can flow from one position to the next like yoga, except this is not yoga. Okay, back to the top. All right, now we roll up, left hand to left shin. Let's go for that lat, reach the sky. Reach the sky, we feel the stretch right above the hip, lower lat area. Notice how the knee wants to raise up. If that's too hard, we go modified version where you grab the shin, grab your head, and pull yourself in. Remember, if you have a partner, you can do a partner stretch. If you don't have a partner and it's too hard to do that stretch, go ahead and tie a band or rope up against the wall or rail, and you can pull yourself in using the rope, okay? But we're right here. Breathe. Side bend. Perfect. So we're side bend, we're side bend. All right, we're right here. Remember, side saddles when we're tight. So this is comfortable to sit in, but this is not creating mobility. We're using what we already have. So to create mobility, I don't want to be side saddle. I want to pull my chest and try to square it in with my shin. Now that's going to be tough, especially for us guys that have tight and hips that don't lie. Shakira thought she had hips that don't lie? Uh-uh. I have hips that don't lie. Take that, Shakira. Hashtag waka waka. Boom, okay, now here's our bounce. Remember, if you can do this without touching the ground, boom, superstar status, that's gonna be good for strength. For the rest of us, one hand on each side, make yourself as tall as possible, big proud chest like we saw a cute girl at the beach, or a cute guy, okay, and let's go ahead and bow. Now, we're going to spread the arms out as we need. If you need to, you can grab and pull yourself in with your foot. What's up? Okay. Remember, just hang out here. It's very tempting to come up, but I want you to hold this new position right here. Okay. Fantastic, guys. So we're going to now contract. So when I say contract, you're like, what the heck? What am I doing? So when we go lower, I don't want you to just fold your chest lower. I want you to squeeze your abs. So on the count of three, three, two, one, contract your abs. Pull yourself in, hold the new space, and spread your arms out as you need. Notice how the knees are still at 90-90. This leg wants to creep in. Keep it back, okay? And if you start to loosen up, notice how when I'm tight, I'm here. As I start to get looser, square the chest off, and you'll get even a deeper stretch in the glute. What up, T. Phillips? We got Trist in the house. What's good? Matt Damon, okay? All right, one more time. If you need, remember, if you're really superstar status and you want to test your strength, okay? Remember, we're not just stretching, we're strengthening too. If you want to test your superstar status, no hands. 
you'll feel your hip muscles fire like nothing else, okay? For the rest of us humans, we're down here. It looks like pitching from yoga, but this is a lot more beneficial. Okay, we're going to pop up. Now I'm going to flip and I'm going to show you guys. Remember, now we're going to strengthen the hip muscles. So we're going to go outside first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back leg and I'm going to push it hard into the ground for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now without cheating, without cheating, lift the back leg. Notice, when we lift that back leg, most people are going to do this. So you're going to lift and lean. Don't lean, lift and lean. That's cheating. Okay, keep, your, keep where you're at. Lift up. If you cramp up when you do this, we need to work those hip adductors. Get those glutes working, okay? So we're right here. One more time. Lift up. Back down. Now, for some of you, you might do that and you're like, I don't feel anything. That's pretty easy for me. Let me show you an advanced variation, okay? So if you're right here, you go up and you're like, I don't feel anything, okay? Lift up and kick out with a straight leg, okay? That's going to be quite advanced. Um, I don't do it because I'm weak. <laughs> I don't exercise. Um, I just eat pizza. All right, now we're gonna go in front. This is the tougher of the two in my opinion. So we're gonna go in front. First, what we're going to do is we're gonna push our front leg into the ground. Let's go ahead and push into the ground, okay? Push strongly, okay? I want you to try to leave an imprint of your leg in the ground. Push, 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 okay? Now, on the count of three, create tension in your whole body, okay? Like you're about to get hit by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Push your arms in the ground and then lift. Now, I cramp up very quickly there because my inner adductors or quad area or groin area is very weak. So one more time, push into the ground, five seconds. Four, pushing down right here. Three, two, one, relax. Now here it is, create tension, push into the ground, contract your whole body, and then lift. Boom, that's gonna cramp central. All right, here we go, then we rock back. So we're here, we're going to practice that internal rotation. Okay, hopefully you guys are liking my Spotify jam. Spotify better be rocking here. Notice, being very humble, so if you do this, and you don't get very far. So say you practice this internal rotation here. If you're practicing here and you get stuck here, that's all you're gonna get. You just gotta keep working it. It does no benefit to go here and shift this leg out, okay? So we're in front, we rotate up, out, and now we're back at our hip flexor pulls, okay? Rounded caveman back, pull yourself tall, relax. Here, round yourself tall. Cool. All right, you guys ready for the second part? I know that was a long sequence, long flow. Hopefully you join me. If you're watching, you better be on the ground joining us, not sitting in a chair. Um, that's part one. You're gonna get so much out of that, it's ridiculous. So if you've got a friend um, and someone you wanna share this with, just go ahead and tag them in this video. I'm gonna leave it up once we're done. So it's for you guys, this is all for you. Hopefully this makes you feel and move better. Um, this is just one of my favorite sequences. I do it all the time because you hit the whole body in such a great way. Now, we're going to take a yoga block. Uh, I know I said we weren't going to use anything today. I work off the yoga blocks a lot uh, when I do mobility. So we're going to take that same sequence. I'm going to show you guys a couple more things that have helped me. Um, as these help me especially with stuff like squatting and deadlifting and all that which everyone loves, right? Okay, so all you need is a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, you can take a shoe, a tissue box, a giant box of donuts, right? Whatever we need, okay? All right, we're going to now take those liftoffs we did and progress them a little bit, okay? So we're going to go here. We're gonna to go to the side. Now, I would recommend doing this up against the wall when you first start, but as you get stronger, you can go off the wall. Now we're going to continue to work the hip flexors and mobility, but actively, which means working. So we're gonna take the block right here. This is very easy to cheat. So when you do this, um, you can cheat this so easy and you'll get nothing out of it. Be hard on yourself, be tough, don't cheat, okay? So we're gonna go right here. The biggest thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and actively pull and straighten my spine. That's gonna to be tough enough as it is for most people, and especially guys have trouble with this, okay? So we're gonna go here. Actively strengthen the spine, okay? Now, 
I want to create tension, so I'm going to take my thumbs, I'm going to squeeze them, okay? I don't want you to throw the leg over. If you throw the leg over, that's cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. So here's what we do. We lengthen the spine, I contract my abs and hip flexors. I squeeze, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the block out. I'm going to lift and pause. If I lift and pause and start to round the back, I probably need some more work before I continue on, okay? So the back should do change, back shouldn't change at all, okay? So here we are, lift, contract, lift, pause. Okay, some stuff is happening here. I'm activating my abs, I'm working my erectors in the low back. I'm activating, I'm working my hip flexors. At the same time, my adductors are getting actively stretched. So one more time, we don't just throw the leg over, and I don't round. Nice and tall, this is hard as crap. Squeeze. Okay, to make it a little bit harder, all you have to do is take the block, move it out wider, that way you have to contract it and go out further. Or you can step away from the block. But if I go here and then I start rounding or bending, or I just go, ha, ha, that's not strengthening, okay? That's throwing. So don't ever throw your leg. One more time. Okay, we're gonna go here, bend, strengthen, contract. Should feel like something out of a ninja movie. Guys, this is gonna help so much more than just dropping a pigeon stretch off or doing something like this, right? Okay. That stuff is great, but we gotta remember that that's just temporary. That's gonna make you feel better during your workout. It's not gonna be a long-term change. So we gotta give strength in the hips and the pelvis and the torso if the body's gonna let you move more and have more range of motion. So this is how we give strength. Let me show you guys two more things with blocks. Then I'll send you guys off to your Friday. Um, okay, so remember, if you don't have a block, use a shoe. This works great. So we're going to be back at that 90-90 position. So this is a little strength work, okay? So we're going to take the block right here. Okay, remember, if you're a superstar, your hands won't be on the ground. But for most of us, we need both hands on the ground. We're going to take that block. We're going to practice that lift off again. But what we're going to do, keep your legs pinned. Ready? We're going to lift up over rotate okay you might feel pinch here this might be tough you're going to feel that hamstring start to strengthen and lengthen okay create tension we always have to create tension lift your abs will be cramping if it's a little bit too tough scoot the block out towards your toe you want to make it harder bring it towards the knee and further away okay here we go lift off again lift okay lift up over and then notice how if I've got tight hamstrings, that toe is going to want to rotate out, external rotation, okay? So I need to rotate in. I'm going to feel my hamstring, hip flexor. Don't round. Make yourself tall. Okay? Contract. Lift off. Okay? One more time. We're going to create tension. Lift. This gets tiring, okay? Now with this type of stuff, You've got to treat it like a heavy deadlift or a bench press. You, you shouldn't do this and then go dominate your squats or deadlifts. Why? This is exhausting. I'm sweating. This, you're contracting muscles in a very weak position, okay? Whether they're long or short, we're contracting and we're working these muscles very strongly. So I want you to treat this type of mobility work like heavy strength work. If I go do this and try to deadlift, I've already gotten some muscles that are going to help stabilize me pretty tired so I would do this like I said at the end of the week I normally do this on Fridays and Saturdays or after a workout's done to really challenge okay don't do this on the same days you're going to go beast mode and pull your heavy deadlift could be a little bit okay I'm going to show you one more with the block uh, and this one is going to be for upper body okay so we're going to go back down to the block we're going to get the upper body okay so these are called prisoner lifts offs going to be here same thing with the block okay so we're going to go here I'm going to play, place my hand down and we're going to just do straight lift offs okay so we're going to get rid of the arch in my back by contracting okay forehead on the ground we're just gonna do some lift offs and then we go down to the handcuff position okay 
down to the handcuff position. And from here, I'm going to lift and go back to the blocks and back up. So one more time, forehead down, lift, up. Notice how the elbows want to round down and in. Pull them back, lift up. Okay, guys. So, hopefully, oh, are there? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, guys. So that's a little bit of what I like to do for mobility. Remember, mobility is nothing without strength. Okay. If you stretch and get loose, but you don't add strength, it's not going to stick around. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I've got about five more minutes till I've got to get rolling to my next session. Uh, so if you got any questions or areas of your body you want to see what I like to do, I'm not perfect. I'm not the smartest guy in the planet. That's probably Scott Dunaway who's watching. <laughs> got you, Scott. Um, but uh, if you got any questions or areas of the body that you're like, hey, how do you take care of this? Go ahead and drop a comment below and I'll help you out. Like I said, I've got about five more minutes so I've got to go to my next session. Hopefully that guy uh, gave you guys a little insight into what's helped me move and feel better. Think of this like putting money in your bank account. When you do this type of stuff, even though it sucks and it's tough and it reminds you how tight and jacked up you are, when you do this, you put money in your bank account that you can spend on fat loss, strength, doing the cool stuff for those likes on Insta. We all know that go hard or go home or post it on Instagram. Basically train insane for the likes. But um, any other areas, I know we've got some people here. Um, are there any areas for any of you watching that you guys struggle with that I can help show you guys? Uh, a move or a sequence? Just drop the comment below. I'll wait a second here and see if there's anyone that uh, needs help. But if not, I hope you guys, I'm gonna leave this video up, share it with a friend, um, tag someone in it. It's one of my favorite sequences. Not only do you get the legs, the upper body, everything, you're getting strength in those positions too. And you don't need any equipment. And these yoga blocks, like I said, five bucks, Target, boom. Cool. Rihanna. <laughs> I'll wait 30 more seconds. If I don't have any questions, I'll sign off and say see you later. But I'll wait 30 seconds maybe for a question uh, that will pop up. If not, I'll call it good for today. I hope this helps, guys. There's no secrets. It's just hard work. Um, I have some of the worst tips ever from my years of cycling. I never did any stretching and mobility when I was a professional cyclist. Didn't do any. Now I see the value of doing it every day. And it looks like... Looks like we're good. So thanks to those of you who watched. Uh, when I get done, I'm gonna leave this up. If you would like, and um, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you have a question, comment below. If you wanna share this, click share. Share the love, um, give it to someone who needs it. And I hope this helps, guys. This is Taylor Starch from Jungle Law Strength and Movement. This is your 90-90 sequence, your mobility work for today. See you later, alligators. Thanks for watching.